Hey everyone, so I want to make a video today about some PS5 news that broke last week that I'm incredibly late on covering, but I want to use it as an opportunity, I guess, to discuss PS5 news in general as of late, because I feel the speculation, the rumours, the quote-unquote leaks that have been coming out constantly and will constantly continue to come out until we hear anything official about PS5, it's just getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Clearly the fan base is excited to hear more about PS5, we're hungry for information and I'm looking forward to when we finally hear stuff about PS5, but these fake rumours and leaks that anyone and their mum can just post on Reddit are getting way too much traction at this point because I think people are just really wanting to believe a ton of this stuff is true when a lot of it's just a bunch of bullshit speculation. I feel like I could easily just make a post on Reddit about my predictions video I made a few weeks back and just say, yeah, PS5 rumor, whatever, you know? It's just a bunch of guesses at this point, but I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. What the hell's the news I'm talking about? So last week, Sony launched the official PlayStation 5 site or the portion of their site dedicated to PS5 and right now it's pretty bloody barren. There's literally nothing here new of note. It just says PS5, PlayStation 5 is coming, launches holiday 2020. But there is a brief statement on the site that I want to read out and like I said, I missed out on this last week, but I do want to cover it anyway. Here we go. We've begun to share some of the incredible features you can expect from PlayStation 5, but we're not quite ready to fully unveil the next generation of PlayStation. And then you can sign up below to receive information as it comes out. So, look, I don't think Sony would put a statement like this on the official site. It says directly, we're not quite ready to fully unveil the next generation of PlayStation. So... Obviously, all the talk and all the absurd amounts of rumours regarding a February event, I think it's pretty clear, at least to me, that there's going to be no February event. It's not going to happen at this point. We're already, what, like a week and a half? Almost two weeks, I guess, into February, right? I feel like if there was going to be an event this month, we would have either already heard about it officially, or we'd be very close to hearing about it. It would have to be in the coming days that we'd officially hear about this thing. Sony's not about to say on their site, we're not quite ready to say anything, when a week later they're going to actually say, oh no, nah, JK, we're having an event. I don't want to say 100% certain that this kills all hope of the February event, but I think at this point there's really only a 5-10% to chance that it happens. The possibility of it was drastically decreased with this statement. Yes, anecdotally, I've still witnessed a ton of chat online about a February event happening soon. So much so that someone the other day on Twitter put out just a clearly fake image that a PlayStation 5 event was officially announced and it got a ton of likes and everyone fell for it. People are desperate, but this is a call, this is a PSA of sorts. Just calm down everyone, alright? Let's take a chill pill. Let's sit in our figurative sun lounges by the pool, alright? Let's let's calm down about this crap. Sure, there were many, many, many leaks, rumours, whatever the hell, talking about the February event months and months ago and it's still persisting now. But really, all of that chat, like I mentioned in my predictions video, all that chat just comes from the fact that that's what they did with PS4. It's something that would just be a typical repetition of history in that sense. Sony revealed PlayStation 4 at a solo event in February. So naturally, if you're someone who's making up rumours, it's a pretty fair guess that they'd do the same thing. Even if you're someone just speculating, it's a pretty fair guess they'd do the same thing. And look, at any point, Sony could totally just come out and announce a February event and I'd eat my words here. That's totally possible. But it's not likely. We need to accept, I think, that the PS5 event could happen at any time, but I think with this statement, it's more than likely going to happen sometime in April or May-ish, honestly. Possibly even after The Last of Us Part 2 comes out to give that game plenty of time to breathe as it releases, and then, honestly, they might even do the event a few weeks before E3. We may very well be waiting that long for it, which I know is a prospect that probably is going to annoy a lot of people because they just want to get that information now. It's best just to not let the hype get too out of control. Those earlier rumours that were coming out a few months ago were interesting to me, but at this point I'm really just over them. I've got no interest in covering them on the channel. Maybe if there's a really valid one or a different one or an interesting one that comes out over the coming weeks, I might cover it, but I don't know, I'm just kind of over them at this point. A ton of them are super similar, go over the same ground with slight differences and all that. There's basically a new one every day. I'm still super excited for the console. I'm down to continue speculating and discussing its capabilities and its potential. But regarding the news that's coming out about the console, at this point I just want to wait until Sony has something to say for themselves. 
And then we can hope to God it's not in another wide article, Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in to this incredibly boring rant and news update from bloody ages ago. You know, please like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, that'd be great. This has been Sir Kaz, farewell.